Hey, what's going on, Ogopogo? Back in subsistence. How the heck are you? Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come and hang out with me. Do appreciate it. Hope you had a great weekend. I'm recording this actually Friday afternoon, so at this point in time, still no uh, sign of Alpha 60. Is that a lock crate up there? It is. Good, I made up some lock picks. We're going to go out on a bit of an adventure today, but I got back from the caves. I fixed up the situation with the BCU. I didn't have any uh, electrical components to make another one. I had them all up here. I found some in the box up at our outpost when you come up out of the water, but we'll fix that up when we get back down. But I just moved that pillar over so we could access it. it wasn't really a huge deal when I think about it because really we're not going to be crafting anything down there. So, And we can see the power and mass by just opening up the... Uh, what do you call it? The uh, air conditioning unit. So I brought the, the drill back, so we're going to set that down. Kind of a bummer we couldn't use that, but uh, it was worth a shot. Uh, let's move that over a little bit. Or can we? Ah, can't. That's all right. We'll move it around later on. We're going to run out. Where we're... Uh, had about 60 some iron between the two drills by the time we got back so we're gonna head out and run around we're gonna run up towards ortastic way and see what's up there all right let's turn this bad boy on let it drill down we'll have to uh upgrade it when we get a chance the power efficiency at least and yeah Let's head out. Let's have a little uh, snack. Went and took care of the flowers. I caught a chicken on the way back. Uh, can't eat any proteins, eh? That's all right. Let's just have a one of these in a berry water. Let's do that. All right. Let's go and get this lock crate. Of course, we got guards here. Let's sneak around this way. Don't want to attract too much attention. Is that an onion there? No. So we're in September now. So we'll uh, have to start prepping ourselves for winter pretty soon here. Ah, uh, we got a little bit of time. September's not a bad month. We'll start getting our uh, winter jacket and all that stuff. Beefed up. It was way up on the waterfall, wasn't it? Hope it's still there. Let's go up and check it out. Oh, take this guy. Damn, I thought I could, I could have swore I saw a lock crate from down there. Did I miss out on it? Did it despawn? Well, that kind of bites. Here I was all excited because I made up lock picks. For a change. I'm going to go back down, man. I could have... Whoa, that's not it, right? No. Well, let's get this zinc, I guess. Yeah, it must have despawned. Kind of bites. Let's take a run back down. Real quick. This sort of... I could have swore that was a lock crate. And this damn wolf is pissing me off. So yeah, that was a bonehead move. I didn't even notice when I was putting that pillar in over there. I didn't even think about the, the BCU. But whatever. It's not a huge deal. I just felt like a bit of an idiot. Ah, piss off with the wolves, man. Are you guys hungry or something? Yeah, let's go back out this way. We'll fool them. There's some uh, heads of pecker over here on the... On the coast here, too. We should go and maybe dance with. But I want to check this out, because I could have swore I saw... Nah, no, it's not there now. Looks like a pimple on this side here. Is that just a 
An ore or is that a crate? I can't tell. Sun's too bright. That's just a rock sticking out. Yeah, I could have swore I saw one just right up there. Oh, well, it must have despawned. That's all right. We'll go out and look around. Kind of wanted to head down towards uh, Ortastic there. Lots of rogues around this area this time around. Where'd that bear go? I fooled him over to the other side, didn't I? There's that damn wolf. Oh, no, the bear's over there. Let's, uh, uh the wolf is over there. Let's go run out the back door. These guys are just, uh, on a mission today. So let's go back out there and... Oh, I caught up. My shirt got caught on the shirt on the stair railing there. Hey, dear. Yeah, let's go see the pecker heads here. We'll give them a kick in the sack. <laughs> Pretty sure I saw them. Out over on here, yeah. Yeah, because I could see the fire. I was out tending to the plants. I had to replace, I uh, pull all the plants and uh, put new seeds in and I could see the fire up over here. Oh yeah, there they are. Oh! Oh, you got shirts now. Where the hell did you go get them? You guys have been to Walmart, I see. Or Bass Pro Shop. You got camo shirts on, so it must have been Bass Pro Shop. Where are you, Bush Boy? Oh, you didn't get one, hey? <laughs> Poor bastard. You must have uh, missed the boat. Maybe they only had uh, size 6X left. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh, and then he goes right in the ground. What the hell's up with that? Crate over there, too. One here. Let's go see if we can find these guys now. I've been running around like a banshee for the last minute and a half. Is this dude? Oh, here we go. And this dude. There we go. All right. Took care of that. Now what? I don't think we're going to make it up to uh, Mortastic today. Kind of want to go on a bit of an iron run. Well, we could still maybe do that. We've got everything to make another pickaxe if we need to. Well, let's head up that way. See how far we get. We get as far as we get. There's an iron right there and the bear's coming. All right then, buddy. Oh. How the hell did that happen? I should just run up with them on the uh, with the double barrel would have saved an arrow, but whatever. Let's get this iron. We'll go drop this. Uh... Oh man, I thought that despawned on me too. Yeah, so we're gonna. I'm just kind of pissing around today. Let's start off the week, ease into the week again, and then. Uh... We're gonna start prepping our uh, two outposts at each end of the in the caves there. Look at all the damn wolves today, man. Um, I want to get them set up for with stuff to repair our armor and stuff like that. Make sure we got a set of diving gear in each end. So we're gonna work on that kind of stuff this week as well. And we'll see what happens with, uh, you know, hopefully Alpha 60 drops here pretty soon. But it drops when it drops. Whoops. Oh, I had water in there. That's why. Let's get this out of the way. Let's drop off uh, nails a lot. Oh, you know what, man? I should make some bandages. To be honest with you. There's some iron. We'll throw that in the... 
Let's make some more berry water here. I'm gonna keep the scrap on me. Yeah, let's grab some cloth and make some bandages. I didn't realize I was that low. Let's make seven of them. That'll help. And let's toss this guy in here. Like a boss. Alright. Let's try to head out here. See if we can find anything. I decided to make a couple lock picks just to keep on us. I've been stumbling across them and I never have a pick on me. But like I said, just not overly concerned about the lock crates this time around. We'll do a couple runs where we go out and see how many we can find. But really, I uh, piss off, man. God damn, they're just everywhere. Must be mating season or something. Speaking of which, we're going to have... Uh, Rutting season for the moose coming up here soon. Mid-September. Then we gotta be careful. Have our body condoms on. <laughs> Saw another crate over here too. Yeah, I guess we're maybe not gonna get too far today. A double. Not as far as I had planned. Never goes as planned, though, in subsistence, it seems. Let's go run up the pond here and wash the old paws, and then we'll keep trekking around. Another goddamn wolf. Oh, there's a moose. Yeah, we'll let him be for now. I don't feel like running back the base to drop the ribs off. Ooh, there's some scrap right by the wolf. Couple of them. We'll eat some raw steak today. Should just hang it off the back of our shirt in the sun and maybe it'd be beef jerky by the time we got home. Hey, what do you think? Plan? Talk to Cole Games, send him an email so we can just uh, incorporate a hook on the back of our shirts so we can hang some meat. <laughs> then we'd have the uh, train coming after us. Little uh, scallium. Man, I got to get grinded down some copper. I had to rearrange the old uh, ore box that I had there. Man, I got copper coming out the yin-yang. But short on iron. Go figure. Want another scrap down here. Got to keep this scrap going. I'm having a feeling that, uh, you know, building the garage gear and the ATV and stuff is going to take a ton of scrap. So I think we better get working on beefing that up. Let's go down by uh, Delta. Man, we're halfway through the day already. Uh, let's take a trip up this way. What the hell? We'll search in around back here. We didn't really look up on the hill for a lock crate. Other than the one that despawned on us. See another ore up here too. Might have to just run around this area today, kids. I apologize. I wanted to get out and venture, but uh, maybe tomorrow's episode. Maybe we'll do an hour episode and go run down through the valley. Of, the valley of darkness. Something like that. This week is going to be more about just kind of gathering and getting ourselves built up again. Do want to work on uh, starting to enclose our greenhouse pretty soon. That's going to help with the plant production. Get a couple more plant beds down. I'm not hurting for veg or nothing. But it'd be nice to get it done before winter settles in. I think uh, I haven't decided 100% yet. Because I kind of want to spend a good part of the winter down in the caves but last season we shrunk our winter season down went from 365 to 90 days just to shorten up the winter mind you I had my old system too and I was having a tough time with the FPS and stuff but I saw something up here but I guess not but this year I should I'd be able to handle it now with this rig that I got going Thanks to Scallium. 
Scallium. Scallywag. My brother. Sure glad he's feeling better, man. I was pretty worried about him. I was texting him every morning for a while there. Well, not every morning. I tried not to bother him. I knew he was in, you know, bedridden and I didn't want to bother him, but I was concerned and I wanted to check up on him. So I'd shoot him a text. Oh, that branch changed color. It looked like a rogue standing by the tree over there. But I'm really glad he's on the mend and feeling a little better now. Making his videos. Good to see him back. Could have swore I heard somebody uh, walking. Like hunter footsteps. Oh, there's some scrap. Yeah, you run now. You know you'll be chasing my arse all over the place once you uh, take your Viagra. There, Marty. Were you all standing all proud about? Eh? All right. Let's go around the backside and up on top of the hill. I guess we're going to have to just kind of stick close to home today. Like I said, tomorrow we'll get a early start and bugger off and hopefully there won't be many distractions. I was kind of looking forward to it because there's a set of rogues over by the North Pond. There's some rogues just down towards the beach from Delta. That could have been fun because we could have got Delta involved too. Had a major battle on our hands. Here's another scrap. We still could, really. Now, we'll see how it goes. We'll take a run through here, see if we see anything. And typical of the game. You know, you know, you don't have lockpicks on you. You stumble over the damn things every 10 feet. But when you get a couple lockpicks on you, then you don't see them anymore. That's the way it goes. A careful and plotted out strategy by a cold games himself. So we can get this zinkster there. I'm going to stand here like a like a pro. Almost missed that fiber. Had some fun with old rod knob today. Like I said, I'm recording this Friday afternoon, but earlier today we did our giveaway and congratulations to Keltor once again. And also we went and recorded our next episode, which you would have seen by now. If you're into that series, we had a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun with Rod. He gives me shit a lot. That keeps me on my toes, I guess. <laughs> he doesn't give me shit. It's just uh, we have such a, a difficult time sometimes because it's just the delay with him being in Australia. And sometimes we end up talking over each other. And communication gets garbled sometimes. But old Rod's an awesome guy. I just having a blast playing with, uh, playing that Icarus with him. He loves that game. And I can see why. It is a lot of fun. I'm having a blast in there. Learning as we go. Starting to get a feel of the building mechanic of the game. We're about to start another mission here next time. So I'm excited about that. You pretty much got to build every, yeah, every mission pretty much. Unless you just run in, do the missions, and bugger off. You got to build yourself up in order to do the missions, apparently. So looking forward to it. Always look forward to getting together with Rod. Another moose, hey? Hey there, Bullwinkle.
Yeah, you mind your own beeswax. I'm running out of stamina here, too. I'm gonna have to stop and take a little snack or something. Don't have any protein bars on me. Look at this meeting they got going there. Uh, let's have those. Let's have that protein. Oh, it's protein we're low on. Well, might as well eat them both. Have one of those guys. Yeah, I figured if we pick up a few lock crates, we might be able to get ourselves a few, uh... A few protein bars stashed up again. I got some dropped all over the place because I always drop them in our uh, drop boxes and stuff like that. Down in the caves, there was like 12 in there, so I was able to get my protein up enough to get out of there. I was going to record that, but... I thought, ah, I'll just come right back to the base. Nothing really exciting happened. I ran into one... I ran into a couple. It was actually cool while I was in fixing that uh, BCU situation. One of the lava cave hunters came walking right up below the base. You could see him right down below, but he had no idea I was even in there, so it was all right. And then, uh, on the way up, I only ran into one camp of hunters. I tried to avoid them because I had all that stuff on me, but... And then I'm pissed around with those crates and you can get one side of the crates sticking out on both sides. Like you can get one side out, but it doesn't, all that comes out really is that outer, that top lip that is on. Look at these two wolves like right here. If you know what I mean, that, that little top lip around the crate. It barely sticks out on the one side. You can access it from the other side, but that's ah, not huge anyways. I'll probably rearrange that a little bit when we go back down. I just want to try something different with the cabinets. We'll be heading back down there soon anyway. Like I said, I want to get both ends stocked up and get a, make sure we got a diving gear at each end. So the south base, we have one in the diving station. We'll probably grab that one and take it down first. And we'll dive down and just go and drop that off. And we'll also, uh, you know, make sure we got stuff to repair all our weapons and whatnot. Armor and weapons. We'll drop a couple stacks of stuff off just to make sure we got the gear, the goods to repair. That way, if we're in trouble, we can always just run through the caves, get to one end or the other. Plus, we'll have some down in our uh, lava cave base as well. We'll get that stocked up before winter. And we'll spend a good portion of the winter down there, I think. We got three drills now. So, you know, if you crank on all three drills, drill and water, it won't take long to... Get a few stacks of 40 to have down there. So we'll plan and prep accordingly. Yeah, there's a black bear. Just avoid him. No lock crates today. That's all right. Like I said, we plan on heading out for a bit of a trip, so. I got one chicken going in the coop that I grabbed. Double. There's a, just one big one. It looked like a double. So yeah, that's what we'll work on over the next couple days, I think. Just getting ourselves prepped for winter. Like I said, we still got lots of time. But we might as well get out and loot. Get ourselves built up while we can. It's a little more difficult in the winter time for sure. I'd carry a bunch of heat packs around with us too, I guess, but I'd rather just get ourselves uh, all situated. Oh yeah. Just gotta make me bleed and use a bandage, eh? Little bastard. God damn these things. 
They're worse than mosquitoes. And I'm going to have the shits after eating all this raw meat. I just know it. <laughs> Might have to spend the day around the base tomorrow. <laughs> Unless we could find like a pack of Imodium or something in the lock crate. Right? That'd be nice. Yeah, it's a little late to go down and dance with those guys now. So we'll just work our way back. A ah, bit of a ho-hum episode. I know it's going to happen from time to time. Can't always have all kinds of action going on. Oh, that was just a fern. Fooled me. Fooled me. A rabbit. There's some more. We're doing good on the scrap today. Thank you that much. Let's go. Let's dance it up. There we go. I don't need to eat those now. Let's have a drink. Should actually have a berry water and top that up too, but we're okay. Let's go wash the hands. Start making our way back on another bear. Jesus. Animals are thick today, eh? Everywhere. Ah, I was going to go for that chicken, but we'll head out. And just in case we end up spending the night out. Oh, look at this. Iron, Iron Maiden and Zinc Floyd. Twenty six iron, seventeen scrap. That's good, yeah. Oh, I was a rock. I was looking through the water. <laughs> it's down here. I can't see. There we go. Do I even need to wash my hands? I might have already done that. Ah! Out of sink here. Yeah. All right. You want? You want to come too? Got lots of livers. But if I was infected, I bet you it wouldn't be livers. All right. Let's get this guy loaded back up. It actually wasn't a bad trip down to the caves. Came back with some pretty decent uh, loot and I left quite a bit of stuff down there. Stuff to build with and whatnot. I'm contemplating taking down a fabricator or a recycler or something, but I'm really not too concerned about it. There's nothing we really have to craft down there at all. So realistically, that, like I said, that BCU being in stashed and uh, in the corner like that it's really not a big issue you know but uh, we'll pull it out anyways next time we go down we'll make another one we'll replace it we'll put it on one of those pillars instead because it looks kind of awkward now with that pillar that was hiding the BCU look at this Looks kind of awkward now, pulled away from the, the window wall like that, so. We'll fix it up. I'm not too concerned about it. All right. Oh, did I just run past something? Yeah, I did. All right, well. Wasn't uh, the most exciting dealio, but here let's 
get that in. I'll just burn all this up. I got my meat. My fridge is just full of meat. I got to cook yet. And burnt stuff down there. All right, I'll get all this stuff put away and stuff. Yeah, next episode, I think we'll trek out a little bit. Like I said, we got the one chick and I'll just make sure she's fed and we'll have, uh, we'll have a couple days that we can bug her off for so it's not a huge deal. And we'll uh, start prepping ourselves. All right, thank you very much for taking time out of your day to come and hang out with me. Do appreciate it. As always, just be safe, look after each other. We'll see you all in the next episode. Take it easy.